going on a hot air balloon ride this morning. The pilots are figuring out where we're going to take off from. Here is the basket of one of the hot air balloons we're going to go in on. So there's the pie ball. I don't know if you guys can see this. Where's the pie ball? Maybe you can see it. They're testing the skies to, for, to see what the winds are. So it'll be about the same for the hot air balloon. They sent up a helium pie ball to see if it goes straight up. That one's going pretty much straight up. And uh, then they'll make their decision where we're gonna take off from. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna go on a hot air balloon ride. We're excited. Yeah. In the basket, we have four compartments for everybody. So myself and all the fuel tanks are right in the center. We've got two on the far left side and two on the far right side. No secret parachutes under jackets or anything like that. Uh, uh, but also once we're on the ground, after we've landed, we're sitting there looking pretty, waiting for these guys to show up if they're not already there. Nobody gets out, I need your way. Even just one of you climbs out before I'm ready, the rest of us are gonna take off and go fly again. Where's the restroom out here? We're standing in it. It's everywhere. I like it. Oh, let's get in it then. Can we be in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's do this. And, and, and subscribe it when you go in there. I'll do that, yes. yes. Getting the basket ready. The uh, balloon is long. Wow, this is gonna be a tall balloon. But I think it's gonna hold quite a few people. This is how long tall the balloon is. I've never been by one. This is amazing. First time ever. I'm excited. Look, we got Superman Daniel Hershberger going yeah. with. Yeah. Hot air and balloon. Markel, we are going on a hot air balloon. Let's get it, there boys. You go. They're starting the fans up to inflate the balloon. Superman today. Superman! Yeah! Get in. Get in. Yes, yes. So landing positions, when it's time to land, there's a few things I'm gonna have everybody do. So first thing, so this will be the front, the direction of travel will be this way, okay? So when we call for landing positions, the first thing we do is turn around and face the opposite direction. So I'm gonna have you all practice this with me. Next, you're gonna bend your knees, get a little bit lower in the basket, kind of do a wall sit. Against the wall behind you. Oh, no, no. You can. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. Lean on each other, kind of squat together. Yep. And then, so part way down in front of you, you've got some rope handles, so everyone's going to hold on nice and tight with both hands. So before we land, I'll probably have to put away both the cameras in the way. See you guys all tomorrow. Okay. So cool. Thanks. Liking it, loving it. Elevations throughout the whole flight, that's how we steer the balloon. So when I pull this one, it actually opens a vent at the top of the balloon, lets some heat out. The balloon will uh, naturally cool off on its own and start to descend, but if I wanted to come down quicker than that, I can let some heat out.
may or may not. We'll see. Okay. Depends on where the winds are that we need. <laughs> We're a little over that right now. I'll get you, Dad. I'll get you. You sound, you sound good. Yeah. So you have three burners, right? Three burners completely independent of each other. Going through a back of the redundancy and just more power because of the size of this balloon. Uh, the bigger the balloon, the more um, weight you can put in it. So it's, it's like a little, uh, just a little vent in the top of the balloon. saw me do. Notably different, it's just, uh, we call it a whisper burner because it's quieter. So we use it for noise sensitive areas like livestock or if we're going to fly, if we have to fly low over houses or something like that. It just disturbs things on the ground less. Do you have any balloons bombing each other? Oh yeah, all the time. It's uh, off to your north, northeast of Pinch. I think you're okay to go up. You got your panning lines, it's slightly difficult for me to drop. Yeah. Turn your phone vertical, you can get the ground, the sky, the other balloons, and our balloon all in the same shot. <laughs> cool photo. But the phone might have it too, I know I turned up. This winning 12 13. Who, who manufactures these balloons and baskets? Uh, there's about a dozen or so manufacturers worldwide. Okay, this particular basket came from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Oh, the balloon itself came from uh, Igualada, Spain. Hmm, I think that's how you say the name of the city. You can see Lake Pleasant, yeah. Pleasant Lake. Yeah. Oh, nice. Good job, yeah. good job. Yeah. We might end up up there again. <laughs> you get a good job. Good job, everybody. Thank you. Everybody in the basket. Woo! Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. cubic feet of air rushing up the top. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job. Oh, give it up for our pilot. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. It was amazing. We've been here all day. We've been here all day. Are you doing the
lower right now. I was like, you got another flight after this? <laughs> uh, we do fly in the afternoons, yeah, but I'm not scheduled. <laughs> Two brothers with the last name of Montgolfier had a paper factory. And back in those days, you know, when it gets cold, you got to build a fire if you want to stay warm. So, um, one day they noticed smoke rising up off of their fire, and they thought maybe if we capture that, it'll take us up in the sky with it. They didn't realize it was the heat causing the smoke to rise because they couldn't see the heat, but they could see the smoke. Um, so with their paper factory, they started producing these large paper bags. They'd go out and build a big fire. They'd hold these bags over the top and let them fill up with, with heat and smoke. Huzzah. <laughs> and once they were tugging at the lines, they'd cut them loose and they'd go shooting off into the sky. And these early balloons didn't have any kind of onboard heat source, so they'd just go float around for a little bit. Pardon my reach until they cooled off just naturally, then they'd come crashing back to earth in fairly spectacular form. <laughs> and usually in some poor farmer's field who didn't have a clue what they were, all they knew is this big thing uh, was billowing smoke, tearing up their crops and livelihood. So it must be like a fire breathing dragon.